today's topic is robot localization and in under this localization we will be and discussing two type of methods so map based and behavior based so now here in the uh, in the diagram shown the robot has to move from point a to point b so some type of uh, uh, activity is planned or some type of message it has to deliver okay from uh, for that it has to move between these two points now here two type of uh, approaches are there so in the localization may seem mandatory in order to successfully navigate between the two rooms okay room a and room b so it is through localizing on a map after all that the robot can hope to recover its position and detect when it has arrived the goal position so a that is uh, the room a inside there that is the initial position and the robot has to move to the goal position that is in the room b so it is true that at least the robot must have a way of detecting the goal position so however explicit localization with reference to a map is not the only strategy that qualifies as a goal detector so here one type of te technology or the method used that is the map based so map is there and the robot is following that map okay the another alternative uh, method that is a behavior based uh, method and it suggests that uh, since sensors and effectors are noisy so the issues with the sensors uh, we have discussed in our previous um, uh, the, the topic so the okay so need not uh, go in detail with that okay then it is available here in the playlist okay so uh, the one should avoid creating a geometric map for localization okay so map building that is not encouraged by the behavior based community so instead this community suggests designing set of behaviors that together results in the desired robot motion so fundamentally this approach avoids explicit reasoning about localization and position and thus generally avoids explicit path planning as well so this one that is simpler as compared with the map building in the first method the map based the robot uh, has to move uh, from initial to the goal position and it has to develop a map and then it has to follow the map okay on the other hand the behavior based uh, community that uh, delivers other method that in the uh, we can plan the path put some marks there and the robot can identify that mark and take the type of action which is needed so here in the diagram both type of uh, the techniques they are uh, shown here in the upper diagram the sensors they are providing the data and that is for the behavior based navigation so the communication of the data discover new area detect goal position avoid obstacles follow right or left wall okay so like we can follow we can consider in that case of point moving from point a to b so the robot has to follow the wall so like the right wall it has to follow okay the robot that will sense and that will follow the right wall okay through that it can identify where it is going where there are some obstruction the sensor can give the data for that okay finally it will reach the a goal okay or also we can put some type of mark there on the wall of the uh, room number b and as the robot comes across that mark it will identify that it has reached the uh, room number b because okay, so here map is not built it has to only follow some type of pattern or the wall like the left wall it has to follow or the right wall it has to follow so this uh, technique doesn't include uh, um, building some type of map so uh, the, so the complexity level that is also less in this case okay then the coordination or the fusion so all of this data that is uh, fused and the, it is sent to the actuators to take the required action okay in the lower diagram there that is for the map based navigation so sensors they are the giving the uh, the input the data then perception or then the map building so through that map the robot is uh, moving okay so the planning then motion control then further last to the actuators so in contrast to the behavior based approach the map based approach includes both localization and cognition modules so in map based navigation the robot explicitly attempts to localize by collecting sensor data then updating some belief about its position with respect to a map of the environment so this is the uh, difference between both of these uh, methods 
okay so uh, the key advantage of the map based approach for navigation are so the first advantage the explicit map based content of the position makes the systems belief about position transparently available to the human operators so this is the advantage that the position is available there to the human operator the existence the next advantage the existence of map itself presents a medium for communication between human and robot okay so the communication is there man and the machine so the human can simply give the robot a new map if the robot goes to the new environment then further the map if created by the robot can be used by human as well so achieving two use means the robot has built up the map in its memory then it is following that map of reaching to the goal position and that map can be used by the human being as well or the operator as well so map based approach will require more upfront development effort to create a navigating navigating mobile robot yes so the map based approach requires more upfront development the whole the hope is that the development effort results in an architecture that can successfully map and navigate a variety of environments thereby reducing gradually the upfront design cost over time okay so it is being uh, expected to reduce the uh, cost also the, over the time so the key risk of the map based approach so here we are uh, discussing the disadvantage is that an internal representation uh, okay rather than the real world itself is being constructed and trusted by the robot yes because this is the internally the robot has built up the map in its memory or we have provided the map the operator has provided the map so that is what the robot is trusting it is not trusting the uh, uh, external environment okay so if that model diverges from reality okay maybe if there is some error in the map something goes wrong in the map then the robot's behavior may be undesirable because it is following the map only blind it is following the map so even if the robot sensor values oh, sorry even if the raw sensor values or robot are only transiently incorrect 